Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic called back off. And we're relating this topic while we're dealing with n-grams. Sometimes while we're building a language model, we tend to go with bigrams, trigrams, four grams or five grams as per our requirement. But staying rigid on just one type of n-gram is not always suitable. Sometimes you tend to start with a higher order n-gram and if it does not work for you you take a step back go to that n minus 1 gram and again if it does not work for, work for you go to that n minus 2 gram and then so on so the main advantage of using a backup technique is when we don't have enough data to estimate the probability of a longer n-gram uh, we can take a step back and then and then shorten our context and then uh, calculate our probability based on that sort context. Again, if we don't have enough data for even that sort context, we can break it further down uh, into, into the lower version of the previous n-gram and then we can calculate our probability. Combining all of these probability might get you a better result, which is the main concept of this back of technique. In this back of technique, we generally begin with a trigram. I'd like to show you the formula first and then we'll go to a uh, implementation here. So p hat, w i given w i minus 2 and w i minus 1 equals to it's a long formula what we do is we we compute w i w i minus 2 w i minus 1 if count of w i minus 2 wi minus 1 and wi is greater than 0 else we do alpha p wi wi minus 1 we move a step back in our n-gram if we basically considering trigram now we consider bigram with some kind of constant here if c wi minus 2 wi minus 1 wi equals to 0 and c w i minus 1 w i is greater than 0 okay if there's a case where we can't work with even bigrams then what we do is we go to our unigrams so alpha 2 p w i else so this is the main formula for our backup technique and we use this formula and then work with our data set here so we're going to see a, an example and understand it properly so for example in a corpus suppose we have four words a b c and d with given counts so basically uh, we'll start with trigrams here so n-gram count n-gram count n-gram and count so the so the first uh, token sequence that we have in trigram is ABA and its count is let's say suppose 4 a b b let's say it's counted 0 a b c let's say again 0 and a b d let's say it's counted 0 now uh, we go to bigram b a let's say its count is 5 b b with count 3 b c with count 0 and b d with count 0 and a b c d with counts 8 9 8 and 7 respectively so our main concern here is using the back of smoothing or technique obtain the 
probability distribution PBO WN given WN minus 2 and WN minus 1 where WN minus 1 equals to B and WN minus 2 equals to A. Also assume P hat X equals to Px minus 1 by 8. Okay, so how do we begin this? Let's first start with our uh, trigram sequence. So P W given A B since our W n minus 2 is A and W n minus 1 is B. So we have P any word or, or like any 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 token that can uh, occur here given the token A and B. So it can either be token A given AB, it can be B given AB, it can be C given AB or it can be D given AB. Okay. So if it's A given AB, we already have the count here as 4. If it's B given AB, 0, C given AB, 0 and D given AB, it's 0 from this first two columns. Okay. So from here, what I can write is probability of A given AB is four out of total four minus one by eight. What we can do here is we can write this as seven by eight. So this calculation is done. For B given zero, well, we we don't have such sequence where uh, where the sequence is A, B and B because the count is basically 0. So what we need to do is we basically need to drop down to our bigram here, bigram case here. So for this one, if the count is, if the first count is equal to 0, now we need to write this formula alpha 1, P, uh, WI and WI minus 1. So what we're going to do here is let's write alpha a b into p b o b given b again here we don't have a sequence where it's uh, a b and c because the count is basically zero so what we're going to do here is alpha a b p b o c given b and the same is here with d p b o d given b okay we're left with these calculations but we'll come to this later on so so for now let's solve the bigram case now because we have uh, some unsolved cases of bigrams here so we'll go to bigram pbo which which means back of technique w w given b now this can either be a this can either be b this can either be c or this can either be d so it can be A given B, B given B, C, C given B and D given B. So for A, I can write P, A given B is, uh, now from this two columns, I see that B A has bigram count of 5, B B has 3 and the entire column, the sum total count is 8. So what I can write here is 5 by 8 minus considering this equation here 1 by 8 which is 4 by 8 p b given b okay i have that value so this is 3 by 8 minus 1 by 8 which is 2 by 8 uh, i have c here but uh, my case of P my case my case of P C given B my count of case C given B is 0 so a 
again we need to go a step down and uh, drop to unigram here so for that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write alpha b into p hat c and for this one what I can do is alpha b into okay my p hat c is now I can consider it from these two remaining columns my count of c is 8 and the sum total count here that I have is uh, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 32. So what I can write here is uh, C is 8 out of 32, which means 8 out of 32 minus 1 by 8. Now this value comes as lambda B into 1 by 8. Now again for D1, D, I don't have a case where this a positive count for BD is zero. So what I need to do is alpha B into PD. So if I see, see this count alpha B, uh, the probability of D is seven. So this is seven by 32, seven by 32 minus one by eight. And my result is uh, eight. 32 okay so this is somewhere around into 3 by 32 okay now we have some unsolved cases of unigrams here too so we go to our unigram case Okay, so after this, what I can do is I can find find out the value of lambda b here because there are basically uh, one unknown variable from here. Now the scenario is if I sum up all of these probability, basically there can only be four different words here: either a, either b, either c, or either d. Now, if I sum up all of the, all of these probabilities, it'll basically result to one which means if I sum okay from the second um, uh, solution here if I sum 4 by 8 from here plus 2 by 8 plus lambda b into 1 by 8 plus lambda b into 3 by 32 this is basically going to give me 1 now if I co compute this I'll basically get it 8 by 7 so my value of lambda b is going to be 8 by 7. So based on that, what I can say is pc given b is going to be 8 by 7 into 1 by 8, which is this value will be, okay, I'll write it here. This value will be 1 by 14. And here, uh, if I do 8 by 7 into 3 by 32, this value is going to be, 3 by 28 so all of these bigram cases are solved but I still have to solve our uh, unigram case here so for this unigram case what I can further write down here is lambda a b into I have pbb my pbb is uh, my p given b is 2 by 8 so 2 by 8 my C given B is 1 by 14, which means lambda AB into 1 by 14. And my D given B is 3 by 28, which means lambda AB into 3 by 28. Now, considering this first solution, if I sum up all of these probabilities like I did earlier, the sum of these probabilities is going to result to 1, which means what I can write here is So if I write 7 by 8 plus lambda a b 2 by 8 plus 1 by 14 plus 3 by 28 this is going to result to 1 now if I solve this I'll get my lambda a b as 7 by 24 and I can substitute my lambda a b value and calculate these net probabilities values okay so how you solve an n-gram problem using a 
back of technique if you don't understand anything please comment down below and i'll try to help you out uh, thank you for staying with me in this video i'll come back again with some new content in the next video till then bye bye